First up, we have Mr. Kaushik Pravida from the School of Materials, Science and Engineering. He'll speak on low battery, just tap your fingers on the screen. Let's first hear what Kaushik has to say about himself. Hello everyone, I'm Kaushik and I love ice creams. Well, if that counts for an hobby. Uh, as often if all of you can figure it out, I'm an Indian and I'm doing my PhD in the School of Materials, Science and Engineering. And I know all of you I had your lunch and I'm sitting down here. So just sit back and enjoy my talk. That's it. Thank you. Every one of us present in this room use a portable electronics, be it a mobile phone, a tablet, or a laptop. But when this message pops up on your screen, you run to the nearest electrical connection to get your device charged. Just imagine that on a fine Sunday morning, you set out on your bike to explore the beautiful city of Singapore. And as you pass by the magnificent buildings, you look at it and enjoy. And suddenly, there's a huge crash. The next moment, you're lying on the ground, bleeding. You reach out to your mobile phone to call for help. And as you take it out, this message pops up again. <laughs> now, if I tell you that I'm working on a technology that has the potential to empower you to charge your smartphones just by tapping your fingers on it, or charge your laptops by walking a few steps. Uh, well, this may sound like uh, science fiction, but nano generators are making it possible. It's a device which, on application of a mechanical force, generates an electrical energy. The mechanical force required is a simple human motion, like uh, finger tapping, walking, or just hand movements. Nano generators use a material called piezoelectric. Piezo means force, and electric, uh, you all know. Piezoelectric materials basically have a positive charge and a negative charge separated by a distance called a dipole. And when an external mechanical force is applied, the distance between the positive charge and the negative charge changes, giving a movement to this dipole called a dipole moment. And this dipole moment creates the electrical energy needed to power devices. But there's a catch to it. Currently, the amount of energy harvested is not enough. And here's where I come in. I'm specifically trying to enhance the energy harvested. And I'm doing it by changing the properties of the material. Specifically, I'm creating porous structures. So my material is behaving like a sponge. And like a sponge, it can absorb a lot of mechanical energy without getting damaged or deformed. Uh, by creating porous structures, we're able to increase the energy harvested by three times as compared to conventional devices because the dipole moment is higher as you can absorb a lot of mechanical energy. Well, including me, a lot of researchers are putting a humongous effort to take this field forward. So very soon, we'll be powering our smartphones or portable electronics using nano generators. So the next time this message pops up, just tap your fingers on the screen. Thank you.